to remain standing uh, just to greet you all but I will formally greet you when the time comes uh, this is our color we are going to go on to the national anthem that will be led by SAPS uh, band so Abba Fagis Kogo Besnisa Bazos Bega Bon Bes Fazane Ziasala Zikona Sishale Simen straight. Now I will hand over to the marshalling office officer as he is marshalling his uh, band to come through not going to be very long so rather we probably just remain standing over to you marshalling officer Thank you very much for that 
while they move on, then you can be seated. Siabong. From one of the attendees while singing this national anthem where tears of joy I could pick it up that to say the sending off of Ukombe to Gordon Webster is accompanied by one of our key national service points in our country, our services of SAPS. He earned it. He's not really because he's not deserving to have it. <clears throat> My name is Bongseni Zomo. I've been requested by the family together with uh, some of the people who are very close to Gordon to be a program director. I would like to recognize the leadership that is here with us. We have from this province, uh, one of our MECs, uh, you will see her when I also invite her to come and uh, do some of the tasks here. She's our MEC for Public Works and Infrastructure, Hulmente, uh, where Pondo, Eastern Cape. We are also happy that uh, this official funeral by U. KZN government has sent the lead of government business, the MEC, uh, for Etia, our brand new chairperson of the of the African National Congress in this province, KZN Ubaba Osboniso Duma. We are also uh, in this midst recognizing the president's councillor. member of the provincial legislature in the uh, Eastern Cape government, Kuno Baba Olida Abifundis, uh, SAPS chaplain, Reverend Matya, and all the other pastors who are with him here. We have Mr. Vuyani Hato, Shalowetu, Interim uh, Chairperson, uh, War Liberation uh, Veterans, Liberation War Veterans, Okona Part, Wetin Zombon, and Gescartes, as being a Lela. See, also recognizing President Gababa Uno Tingobo, who is a free executive nationally, ex political prisoners association, to the entire big family, the Webster that is coming in from all over the country. Uh, I was recognizing some of the others I know from New York, where this young man was born at, all the families, Daga Webster, and their relatives of Kansela and of Kananabo. Uh, the senior members of the South African police uh, that is service that is with us here, senior government officials, from both government of the Eastern Cape and the government of KwaZulu Natal. The ANC veterans, Abakona, Pagatigwe, to Zinko Kelze, to Lezi, Ezis Komba, Indlela, Uti, and Amapi. All the guests that are present here, the comrades from Buto, Babutu, Mangafunda, Eastern Cape, Uti, Tua, Megu, Kona, Lakua, Kuzova, Konozo, Kulmela. That is how much everybody embraces the African National Congress. Everybody. So 
Nonke ke ngalimbiza ngamagama wenu namkelekile kule funeral which ngaliphathi kabsi lozama ukuthi sisheshisa iprogram nanokuthi ke rest assured akukho okuzokwenziwa sazogikelwa amabhasi kungena emotweni Even Maja, as an apambili, to do an opening prayer for us. Thank you very much. Come, let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we bow down unto you this morning. We thank you for all your mercies unto us as we are about to assume our day. We ask you to come down and lead us. Be with all the proceedings of the day. Be with us all in our places. In the most wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer. Amen. Siyabonga kegu, Reverend Macha. Siyabonga kegu, Reverend Macha. Nibonilu mkuba wenzi, leme figala, kale kwa kalis kupula, before kule. Usuge lege lelu kutene, awa men and women in uniform, ba ba kumli koko zaba, me kule. Besa pindo shower footis kupu, besa kuse kitiwe kumkulego masfa kwa kisgo. Eba ni kuse si afunde wengine down. Soge kumbuza na wamagate ustogilu lendi, besa kulego kisho our men and women, men mainly men in uniform, me kulego shower scoop, besa bias kipa kisgo, besa pindo shower scoop utwa stoge faga kisgo. With that, let me request O Reverend Shangase, who is going to Give us a, a sermon in Konzo, Ngalum, Shobo Wetu, O Simbega Lam Shanji, Tizoga Cotton. Siak Bong is being a little way about my pride, so born. So born. Thank you. I like a son delegate, Babu Shanga, say. Ezo la la la, ezi nyawe ni ziga che. La 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 pa. Ezo la la la, ezi nyawe ni ziga che. Ezo la la la, ezi nyawe ni ziga Go marry. Ah, why? I was clubbing in the bag. Kizo, la la la. Kizo. Ah, wezinya. So na ziga chim. Kizo, la la la. La la la. Ziga chesum. Jango maria che. Etanda. Sing his old 
Deputy Minister, Dr. S.M. Lomo, Program Director for the day today, MEC for Etia, MEC Duma, MEC already mentioned from the Eastern Cape, mayors present, family Webster, DTG is present here representing the office of the Premier, Abo Mama No Baba, Oputi No Sisi, Umbutu Amapoi, so we want to spambele lenkonzo. I want to thank God for the opportunity granted to me this morning to speak here today, marking a turning point for my life. Webster was a soldier all his life, but somewhere he became an ordinary civilian where he met a person like me. Bob McBride, Webster, Bistala, Nai, Makishina, Semaritzbeck, Sidla, Nai. Uh, he never spoke so much about the things that happened during the struggle. All that we were seized with was food. He Beltandi Tombolo, Elutanda Usu. I told the deputy minister that one thing that struck me one day, Sadma Sidla, Gitimina Webster, Lana Bewama plate, Sidlange Katlari. And it puzzles me that we are busy eating on plates and we are busy asking for a takeaway, yet we are sitting down. And I do not know where the logic is for that. And he tells me, he says, my job is bigger than food. The reason why I'm using a takeaway, I can get a call anytime. I will have to fold the food and leave. When he answered me in that way, that was the last time I inquired about why does Webster use a takeaway when we are relaxed and comfortable and having our lunch in Peter Maritzbeck. I went to that uh, restaurant to formally tell them that one of us uh, has left us and Umama was a restaurant Webster. So Webster was my personal friend. I'm not just speaking here. I'm not delivering a sermon as a pastor, but I'm delivering a sermon as a personal friend of Gordon Webster. I visited him. Uh, in hospital, and I was there on the day when the family was called for the last time. It was, I think it was a holiday. Uh, I, I went there, I was there at about two o'clock uh, when the doctors really told us, you know, the final verdict uh, of his life. I was there. Uh, I would like to spend a few minutes with you to share the word of God in the book of Judges. That will be chapter number 13, verse number 6, verse number 5. The only verse I will read you will become pregnant and you shall have a son whose head is never to be touched by a razor because the boy is to be a Nazarite dedicated to God from the womb. He will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistine. He will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Now here we read about the birth of Samson. Something that strikes me is that the purpose for the birth of Samson is clearly mentioned in this piece of scripture. Samson is born for a reason. And the reason is mentioned in verse number 5. The Bible says that Samson will be born, but primarily his birth will be about the liberation of his nation. He will take no other career. He will not be a teacher. He will not be a lawyer. He will not be a policeman. He will not be anything else except to be a liberator of his people. Today, brothers and sisters, we are gathered to bid farewell to a liberator. Webster could well have been a lawyer. Webster could well have been a teacher. Webster could well have been an engineer. But in his life, he chose to be a liberator. And we are here gathered to bury someone who chose a profession that is infamous, who chose a profession that is risky, who chose a profession with which 
you pay with your life as a deposit. Webster was a liberator. He loved to see the people of Africa and to see South Africans in particular liberated. He was born to liberate his people. Ugungungwa mapoi saganje ugufago wale li flek axioni panzela axiona is cash so to do za ika lawa webster. But masmona leli flek kunom yale zo tunye loyo otilendo da elele ya puma esi swini skanina as a liberator. Webster was born a liberator. Liberators don't get the clapping of the hands. Webster never got an opportunity to stand in a podium such as this and address people. He was not a gifted speaker, but he was a dedicated liberator. I am enjoying freedom today because of people like Webster. People who knew why they were born. He was born as a liberator. U Webster, um seven zwake, aga ufunde langa goto wa ufungela. Sandelo abanda ba fundile gota banga fungile. Umundo fundile upega ma offers. We are monaga take the profession se pumilu se wen. Le profession u Webster abeguyo abantu ba kona ba funga ngogu pila guabo. The stories that we read about him are dreadful stories, are stories that we cannot believe. Why? He was born as a liberator. Today, there are so many political parties in our country. Everybody is contesting. Everybody is able to say something. Everybody is able to deliver a speech. But if you would invite them into the space where Webster was, they would resign immediately. They will never dare set their foot there because they were not born liberators. Webster was born a liberator. And Agafanga ngeskati tandizita, ufengo basak figis katsake, Umsimbaga Webster wa kwangenwa yinhlamvu kodwa still wangadlula emhlabeni udlula emhlabeni Webster ngoba sekufike isikhathi sakhe I am here to say just like some son of old Webster was born a liberator and he will be remembered as such because he was born a liberator Lady Piper lo Samson esef shonile noma esefile kweza bakubo bazomthatha Uma se ushoni luthathu abantu abafana nawe. Ngithi mina umusu ushoni le kufika abantu abafana nawe. Job usibona nje, job ubona ODM, Deputy Minister is a former soldier. Deputy Minister is a former umkhondo wesizwe. He was in Robben Island nabo babu McBride. Abafikile la coincidentally bazoqoqitha mbo labo. Samson nesefile akathathwa nga inombane. Kwafika abafana naye bazomqoqa. Why? He was born a liberator. Shall we bow and pray? Father, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this time that we can be found in your presence to bid farewell to this great man of Africa, to a liberator, a true liberator. We read about other liberators in books. We see them in movies. We see them in cinemas. But we were very privileged to have this liberator living in our midst, walking with him, shaking his hand, exchanging ideas. And we are here today we are gathered here today in mourning and we celebrate his life at the same time. We pray for his family to find strength during this difficult time. Lord, may this program be blessed of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say much uh, until we read the obituary about this man <clears throat> because uh, I will not want to preempt this but this is one man who if you would want to know was 
people are now asking, hey, was Webster this much? This is a man who was just not, uh, was not talking too much. Like many of these uh, comrades that uh, spent time in exile and in Robben Island, you would come to know about what they did. These are men and who actually could tell you how it is like to spend the whole day chatting to Baba Govan in Beg. How it is like to spend the whole day how it is like the whole day talking about Walter Sisul. Those are the people we found on Robben Island. And therefore, when you really would want Babu Duma to still find some spark of what Abu Nelson Mandela were doing, this is the crew. We di we di some of us are lucky. We don't read about Walter Sisul in the books. We saw them. We spent time with them. That is how much we still can link up and assist future generations because a lot of these people like uh, or Gordon are not aspiring to take you out of leadership in branches, in regions, in provinces. They were ready to say this ANC must govern and they were ready to like, lose their lives for that to happen. Now, they can't just be ready to they are saying, go and lead. But here we are. We are a resource. We'll give you guidance. We'll support you and tell you what Abu Baba Umfenendala were telling us on Robben Island. What Abu Baba Herikwala were telling us on Robben Island. Now, Giboni leadership, the African National Congress, but in particular, in particular, in particular, I recognize the leadership. I say, Rain Konyeni, Umakelwa, and the same Nelinda next door, Bab Kumet in the leadership. One can see an eye, Rain Konyeni, a district, a Sian Sia Sia Bingelela, a Sibiz Wanguti, a Nyayes, a Matolomani, yes, and so it is begging ah, pa. Umakelwa, he begging Eastern Cables, the Asli Della, Ukongolos, and Angela. It is really excellent in this region. But now, Bang Fundisilere this morning, and you know, it takes long to remember. I was just about Dala, which this was called Bizana uh, local municipality. Shintilere and Gogu, Bizwa, and Mama, Wakalinda, Wakulela, Umama Uwin, Matizela Mandela. Lag as good as a sego, Kumas Pala, and the one living on Uwin, Matizela Mandela municipality. Viva Mbogote, viva. Nyanga ya makoskas. Kwa itake, kutuwa masmuge ilwe ngomu nyu mama, we pondo. U mama unto mbo vuyo. O yenu zo senze la, welcome address la Mbogote. Yabu nas pet, hey, begeti pet kongo lo sene Mbogote yao. Oza mama, uzo sabangye la, ke kondwe ni, kamenda kulmende wako. Mandi Bullel and Bullse go a program director, Dr. Lomo. The Webster family, the MEC for Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs in KZN. O o o mshonishwa o duma. O executive mayor wase Alfred Nzo. O soto lopo walapa e wini matigzela Mandela. O honorable umafumbata. Members of parliament that are present here today. Members of the provincial legislatures. All councillors led by their mayors, the speakers and chief whips, veterans of our struggle, distinguished guests, comrades and friends, ladies and gentlemen.
let me extend the greetings and welcome from the Eastern Cape province. As I'm standing here, I'm representing the Premier, Otata Oscar Mabuyane, who has asked me to deliver this message and also welcome the, the, the mourners and the guests that are present here. Comrade Gordon Webster was a national asset as an eminent person who made an outstanding contribution to our struggle for liberation. That's one of the main reasons that you are gathered here. At a tender age of 22, he embraced and lived a life of selfless service to others. As an act of this single lifelong choice, he leaves us a rich legacy that we look back on with pride and reverence. He is part of a generation of young people who were courageous, who were determined to end the brutality of apartheid, and they succeeded in their mission. Many cadres of this movement today do not know who he was because he never sought self-acclaim for the person and personal sacrifices he made during the struggle of our liberation. After we attained freedom, he quietly lived a private life. 20 years into the democratic dispensation, the past injustices of socioeconomic inequalities he fought against are relevant today and remain among our country's foremost burning issues. To address these challenges requires not only responsible political leaders, but also the brand of maturity and diligence exhibited by Comrade Gordon Webster throughout his lifetime. We venerate Comrade Gordon Webster in this manner because of the example he bequeathed on us to indeed realize the kind of South Africa we all envisage for our children and their children. The passing of Comrade Gordon Webster has drawn testimonies about his life from all corners of our nation. Our thoughts are with the cadres he served with in Umkonto Wesizwe, the likes of Comrade Robert McBride, because this movement is certainly not easy for them as they were in the trenches with Comrade Gordon Webster. If it was not for their courageous actions in Umkonto Wesizwe, the apartheid regime would not have come rushing to the negotiation table that led to our first democratic elections. We must give the real MK operatives the credit they deserve for their heroic during the struggle for liberation, for their heroic strides during the uh, struggle for our liberation. Ndiafuna ke indogokba si Eastern Cape province. Si konde indogokba lenda o si kuyo lomshaba si mikuyo apa embizana. Kumaspala iwi ne matikisela mandela. Okokelong mama fumbata. Lenda o le area in a kayalka comrade garden. Is largely a colored area. Abanyeke by Bizangokba is a Khoisan area. And the Yinda Wole Imbizana, lastly, Ibisegenzi swa as Ibafa zone, 
nini nini amajoni omkhonto wesizwe ebesuka xa ebaleka ezazidube dube zazifakiwe zatyalwa zika black against black bebalekela kule ndawo yasembizana hence we'll find most of the surnames zale ndawo yasembizana gabalala izi surnames that are similar to the surnames from KwaZulu Natal so ubuhlobo ke obuye bokhiwa nguye comrade Gordon and ama comrade ebesebenza nawo sithi namhlanje abuze ukuphela instead siyabumilisela that now the the eastern cape government is hosting the KwaZulu Natal government in this area is a historic moment on its own i'm certain that comrade Gordon Webster, and knowing his credentials and conduct in the movement, he would be and was pro-renewal of the ANC. Because the renewal of the ANC is a fundamental task we must achieve to deepen and advance the National Democratic Revolution. In honor of this great revolutionary of our movement and others who departed, we are going to be relentless in building a renewed ANC and instill discipline in our branches. Ensuring that upper structures of the movement and our ordinary masses in the branches that they expect to see us and to see a revolutionary movement for the advancement of socioeconomic transformation. Part of renewing our movement must include entrenching ethical leadership and high revolutionary discipline in all members and leaders of the ANC. May the Webster family draw strength and courage in the knowledge that Comrade Gordon Webster made it his lifelong philosophy to pursue a life of purpose, and thus he lived a meaningful life. Ngalomazi, Eastern Cape government, Premier Well Pondo, no maspala bonke esina boklenda oya senzo ne Eastern Cape Kabalala. Sianamkela. Sisiti Hunda de Gordon, Samaya Hunt and Dad, eh? Ambaga, Sam Condo, Yabulel. See Abonga Kulu. Uh, we would actually be able to say while there has been a request, uh, and we don't take this for granted, uh, Babu Duma, we thank you very much with the government that you are leading part of as a leader of government business, KwaZulu Natal. family to recognize and have this official government funeral for uh, um, for way to uh, Gordon Webster. But over and above that, Utini Cox in the Eastern Cape, Kufir no Hulman was the Eastern Cape here, is just beyond our expectations. So, Siabulela Mam Tombo for your message, and Usul Zulzel and Nagutata, U Premier, Uti Mdeniwa Webster, Nat Sonke. Uh, those who are close to this man, we are very humbled by Um Seven Zenuenzayo, Kubeganiya Pambili, Ms. Legalel. For the past three weeks, it has not been an easy journey for this for this family, and uh, some of us got to know about the unfortunate incident, uh, a car accident through Ukombe to Desmond Mortar. Uh, who actually informed us would have been a car accident uh, involving Komedo Gordon and his dear wife, may her soul rest in peace too. 
kwase bengene specials as a push ups din and thanks to see u see of the hospital lenyin bogote uba uba winil and jovu siya bonga ba winile that you are also part of this uh, uh, funeral today. And uh, you probably now know that the family lost uh, Mama Wekaya uh, two weeks ago. When we visited Ukome to God in, in hospital after the funeral, we probably could, we noticed that he probably did not have much energy to live for. And, Gary, you probably can testify observation Yako, when you went to see your dad. It's like his dearest wife has now left him. So probably I have grown up children, Gary, the last born, they are managing. Maybe let me just part ways and be with my wife. But some of us do feel that Ukhamba uh, Wake had something to do with Zimbabwe already had some scars of where Ungubane uh, passed on in around Peter Malisbeck and he survived and he went on. Mark Bright will tell us the story about that. He already had some scars on his body of a bullets. So when he got a car accident, it was an add on to an already challenged body. And therefore, we would want to say, no longer survive Gordon. Yes, we have been as No longer survive Gordon has a lot to do that his scars and his sacrifices had been there long before. Not just now. He had already sacrificed. He has been living a life of sacrifice. So when, therefore, Sibonagi program, who corner someone to read an obituary about Ukume to God in good Desmond? It is very befitting. Yeah, go to Babeli stamp together at Robben Island. They remain closest. <clears throat> but we are very grateful to Desmond. Was some of us who were far away from being in Bizana, being in Deben, you were you were keeping us informed about our developments and what went on in the family. And therefore, I will invite you very befittingly to come and uh, read for us the obituary of this uh, gallant soldier who has just departed. operative, strategist, leader, and thinker. He was born on 29 November 1963 on a farm in New York, in New Hanover, north of Peter Marisbeck, Wazulu Natal. He was the 10th and the last born of Artie and Agnes Umazuma, who were both late. His father was a son of an Irish immigrant, and he died exactly one and a half years after Webster was born. He thus grew up with his mother and his elder siblings, Victor, George, Henry, Winnie, Margaret, Trevor, Arthur, Clifford, and Barbara. His primary school was 12 kilometers away from home. He had to cover this distance sometimes per feet, twice a day, every week for five years. Between 1978 and 1982, he attended Hayton Senior Primary School in Peter Marisbeck as a boarder. In 1983, Webster enrolled at Bechet College of 
education for a teaching qualification. This is where he first met Comrade Robert McBride, laying a solid foundation for a relationship with his own chapters. It was also around this time that apartheid president P.W. Botha introduced what was called tricameral parliament, giving Kalas and Indians a fake vote. Gordon felt very strongly about this and he, as he considered himself black. This inspired him to start engaging in political discussions on how to bring Botha's regime down. After the final exams of his first year at college, he decided to leave the country as in his own words, I quote, I was and still am no fan of using placards and or stones, nor toy toying as a form of resistance, close quotes. In late 1994 in Angola, Webster got what he had been longing for when he was initiated as a co on a commander's course specializing in engineering, military combat work, as well as tactics. Six months later, at the age of 22, he was to return to South Africa, trained to fight as a member of the elite Special o Operations Unit, the Special Ops, under the direct command of his head, Abu Bakr Ishmael, also known in his uh, uh, combat name as Rashid. These orders that he was given included that he was going to be alone for the mission, that he was going to reestablish his previous routine as few people as only few people knew that uh, he had left the country, that he had to recruit people and provide military training to those people. Also that he had to establish underground structures which were to be, most, to be the most effective in military operations. Upon his arrival in the country, the first unit he formed consisted of three women, including Anne that he later married and spent nearly 40 years with. Gordon's next recruit was uh, Robert McBride, with whom he formed a formidable unit. This unit was to execute daring operations that assisted in raising the morale of the freedom-seeking freedom population. Together, they were responsible for the bombing of electrical substations in Greater Deppen area, including Jacobs, Westville, Campertown, Cutteridge, as well as Gamachu Police Station, amongst other operations that they conducted. We salute this unit. On April 27, 1986, Webster, together with his recruit, Begin Gubane, had a skirmish with the police at Snatting in Peter Marisbeck. Sadly, Gubane was shot dead, and Webster was wounded and taken under police guard to Eatendale Hospital. He was later rescued by the, a unit led by McBride in a highly daring operation of a movie script proportion. Our struggling history is incomplete without this episode. Under the care of his comrades, Webster was smuggled out of the country in a caravan by Greta, who was also here, Mark Bright, and Anne, who nursed him all the way through the Botswana border. Shortly after recuperating abroad, this tireless soldier tracked back into the country to execute a rescue mission for Mark Bright, who had been arrested and sentenced to death. Webster was arrested after crossing the border into the country and sentenced to 25 years imprisonment in Robben Island. And he was released in 1991 after a prolonged hunger strike demanding his release as a political prisoner following the unbending of the African National Congress. After his release, he assumed a low profile until comrade Dr. Smongseni Klaomo here, the then then KZN MEC for Health, asked him to serve as his security manager. He was later to leave the department when Dr. Tlomo was redeployed. Nearly a month ago, Webster was traveling with his wife when they were involved in a gruesome car accident in Munster on the Guazulu Natal South Coast as they were nearing home. This tragic event has led to the demise of a most beloved comrade and his wife, and also created an uh, irrevocable loss to the four adult children, Jennifer, Brian, Samantha, and Gary. We extend our condolences to them, 
May the souls of their dear parents rest in eternal peace. Today, Corinne Webster joined his wife, who was buried in his absence three weeks ago. As his author pointed out, Corinne Webster, like many controversies of veterans of the 1980s, carried the physical, psychological, emotional scars to the end. He was an <coughs> He was an expert in masking these scars. If you knew him, they would emerge from time to time. Ladang Okolo, Social and Kukubo, we face the Akindim, Alut. Oh, Hamba, Gashi, Hamba, Gashi, Kawi, Hamba, Gashi, Hamba. I salute you, Des, Comrade Des, for being able to complete reading this obituary. It has not been easy for you for the journey that you have been through over the past three weeks with this family. But thanks that you managed to do that. In the midst here, there's Comrade Pam Tele, uh, Comrade uh, Robert. I was sharing with her, and I said, you guys, you owe us big time. When are you going to document those things that you did? Maybe you will ventilate that when you come. Let me invite Comrade Robert McBride to the podium. This is opportunity to share with us what is hidden in you, which you still have to put down in the book and write so that you can educate us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Program Director. Um, an acknowledgement to all the leadership from KZN, from Eastern Cape, uh, all the leadership from the two um, st state of uh, t the two provincial state officials, the South African Police Service, the veterans organizations, um, the, and in particular the family of Gordon and his wife, the families, and all those who knew him and worked with him, and the community in which he lived, and all protocol observed. Uh, as we mentioned in the um, uh, in the memorial, um, the most important thing about Gordon was his, is to say thank you to him for giving us a chance. Those who knew him were part of um, his networks to be part of the struggle, in, indeed to be part of the armed struggle at a time when the country needed it and when the armed struggle nudged the apartheid regime towards the negotiating table. Um, messages have been sent from people abroad who worked with them. Um, 
uh, from Commander Rashid um, indicated that since 1979, when Special Ops was um, created in the office of President of the ANC, then Oliver Tambo, until 93 when we disbanded, he has indicated that Gordon was one of the best um, operatives um, since the unit began. Um, the, the unit worked very closely with the, the unit of Butterfly. In fact, many of us served a, a role of logistics and propaganda distribution for the Butterfly unit, which we also colloquially call the doctor's unit. Um, and we, at the time when the, they were operating, we were setting up the new network. So when they were captured, uh, the regime thought that we were part of the same unit. Um, but all of us were given instructions after Kabwe to step up operations. Unbeknown to us inside, only the leadership was aware was that um, negotiations, secret talks were taking place behind the scenes, and it was important that the presence of the ANC is felt everywhere in the country so as to strengthen its position um, at the negotiating table. And of course, we know that uh, within five years after Kabwe, the ANC was unbanned in the country together with other liberation movements. Of course, it was not the end. We still faced a lot of trouble after that. Uh, but just to go back to Comrade uh, uh, Pam Taylor, and on, on a lighter note, uh, uh, Comrade Spongseni, is that, as I said in the memorial, if ever you need someone to design a field hospital, an ICU unit, in a very short space of time, Comrade Pam is an expert in doing that. Um, also, in terms of, of, of messages, important to say that None of the things that we did, we could have done without the support of the people around us. We were supported in, in, in everything we did. Uh, and it was only possible because other people had put in place networks before us. Other people had done hard political work quietly. Some will never be known uh, with the quiet work they did because it was the intention to work quietly and establish networks, whether it was funding for legal fees, whether it was the medical assistance we required now and again, um, whether it was safe passage um, on the borders all around South Africa. Um, as a comrade Zuelim Kizo was speaking about at the memorial, Nguavuma area was a was basically a free passage there um, until the regime found out. Um, and the same with the Botswana border where we operated from. People in villages on both sides of the border, South African citizens and Botswana citizens, they assisted us. So all of this was work over many decades. Um, in fact, Another of our comrades who helped us was even from another country off the continent, passed away last week, and he was one of the logistics commanders in the, in the special ops, and his family has also sent their messages of condolence and thanks for the opportunity to have worked with Comrade Gordon in Botswana. Um, comrade, we, we are in mourning, so I don't want to speak for too long about issues. But the most alive time, and I've been public about it, that I've ever felt alive in, um, in my life has been a soldier of Mkonto Wesizwe. Uh, knowing that we have a purpose to serve and it's to liberate our country. And all of that came from Gordon and the way he explained things 
to me. Um, Gordon, when we left the country, when he left the country, he was very close. We were very close to each other. Um, and he was a very quiet guy. He would uh, be open to me, which he wouldn't be with other people. But when he came back, I saw the difference in him, that he was very professional, very assertive, very thorough in the lectures he gave us about um, MCW and secrecy and how to avoid traps, meet in places to pick up surveillance and observation, to do intelligence gathering operations. Um, all of that is still applicable today in our lives. And in various ways, it might not be a, a military environment, but it's still relevant because without information and intelligence, um, leadership cannot make informed decisions. And um, he also taught us how to identify um, charlatans, charlatans and tricksters. And small little tests and questions and engagement will expose people who um, not intended to, to, who do not have good intentions. So again, it's to say thank you for him for giving us the skills, the hard and soft skills to be able to deal um, with life as it becomes more complicated for us. Um, the speakers after me will cover some of the issues, but um, Gordon would have wanted us in these challenging times for the movement to, to insist on unity, to move away from issues that divide us. We had a slogan in the old days, ANC unites and apartheid divides. And we should continue in that, uh, in that vein by uniting, working together, and uh, being able to complete the transformation of the country. Um, in, in particular, the economic transformation is still work that needs to be done. And those of us who were committed in the, um, in, in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s to transform the country should put our shoulder to the wheel again for this last, more complex part. Even though we face challenges now, we can overcome them if we are united and we work together um, and we have clear strategies and goals and deadlines to fulfill our duties. So, uh, Program Director, Comrades Fong Senior, without further ado, I'll, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Comrade Robert. Uh, I know you didn't respond, but you will respond in writing that you are, we are almost finishing your book. Uh, you need that. I mean, for all my life, I, I cannot believe, uh, it's because they are ordinary people. I mean, getting out of the ICU to the nurses here with a patient, basic masters from say, the ICU, you are saying, I say it in the hospital is in the second floor. Now to move from the ICU, Baba Makati has the, to move from ICU, uh, if I was there as a doctor and a soldier, I told stop it. <laughs> but anyway, I was not there. But uh, outside they had very capable nurses who knew that they'd taken a patient out of an ICU, not just from the safety of the police, but also this combat must survive. And therefore they had a cup, there are nurses who were sitting in Wentworth, and thanks to the committee of Wentworth, and I hope some of our committees already arrived here, or committee, or great, and all those who provided that uh, their doctors, nurses support for him to survive before they arranged for him to escape the country. See, this is a, a like a movie thing. When you really, and here you see our comrade Robert McBride do a operational on that movie thing getting into the hospital, dressed like doctors, behaving that they are doctors, suddenly they take out the guns, and everybody goes, I, Comrade Robert, you have a, a, I just want to check. If there are any commanders there who are uh, from the SAPS who want to arrest, I'm now, I'm now, <laughs> I'm now telling you what he did. And, uh, uh, 
Gizotela kuma in-laws, who Miss Mandi Samtikwa, who also wants to give a message of condolence on behalf of the in-laws. Ezenga pambili, singa bonga akur. Ikamala makosi gazi. Umazuma lo. Situlelu mamu mazuma wasbegela lengan. I ma. Ma libongwe ma. Libongwe ma. Libongwe ma. Ma libongwe. Amen. Oh, Ah, Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. I say, Abulela, no toilet to Boba Seco Napa. Hang again, the bear called into Minam, the two on the Cati in Pilo, Baba and Tang, and Anga the Cobac Bewayena, Uncoscas the work. Amen. Bulela would take or go take and go out in Quenyan. I obey when I know the book Cabela and the bear corner. Nam and goes. Sinibulito. And Conzin, Catata, who got him, we have stuff in Chinzo. Who covers it? Covers it. Covers it. Tina, who could bail over a shallin snabble or could bail a fire shin nab. A bay again, a fuye, fire the city gum to a go to law, gum forward to loan. Siabulela ke mkonto e sizwe, sibulela, kuma webster, sibulela, quilali, ya se casino, sibulela, bonke abantu, nabe fungu se, abakona we pagati, we si si fito se goso nam shanji, sibulela, ugubas kulu was. Govam Shambia Tina Susa Bulela Ewe, the sea corner, Bendy corner, Pagati Great Pie, Ba in Tom Yam Ubi Bewa. Pull the 
ngi kona gelo tres. Yamba ge nama Webster kubu kuluba umobaga dogo gabo na bantu baskokele yo kuyo yonge nto besienda apekaili siabule la gema Webster kubu spata pakuusha pagati kweli kai uta talo ebe umtom nani ubeti ka ezo ufika singa mbon se simbo na spasa ichiga mwa wezinzo esia kuabuti kuabokoti lowa la pikai sisi sisi ebeti kwa ichiga si sengi hud mwa wezi sisi kanda bengo ba oh nguye sasa pumba sisi kwa bage lo kuya sisi zanza lunge la sisi zanga i ba masi e paya ayako sisi sisi yake sisi yesi kona kwa bage nga fasha nini sisi ge simfu lelege ashindene ibi ndo tangu ibi tangu msebent ebi sheli ipeti iz chozo kusebent se sisi ge izo guaka izi sisi ge ishala sisi pray wena 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 pray wena libelengo u u keri keri shala uzo kwenza lento ndi enza up yonke into endi enza yo uzo kwenza nawe futhi sisike na lapha ndabona ukuthi eyona nto lento ebeyenza phaya kuthi phaya ekhaya ku Brian ndilendi sike ndayibona apha eyenza nje ngangoku uje walala kule ndawa kuyo esenza lonke njengangoku ba o Brian singathi ngoyena mkhulu kanti ngoyena mzi Siabulela kema Webster, siabulela kaku. Enkos. Oh, abantu basi mzi ni siabulela kaku luma. Mwa wa le family kuzobakona iskulumi, sawa Webster upalela mpe tu prosper. Who actually I was reading here for to prosper. If you do give me and I'm happy if you are. Only if you're giving me a permission, but it would be nice if uh, people are going to confirm to keep this booklet safe because it has a history that we'll never find anywhere else. This is all I'm going to say. If you would allow us, provided as we lash up a joint in, so it's clean and refund and clean. It's a booklet that is good to keep, but okay, let's allow uh, people as a family to come forward uh, as a teta. How we tambo. Oh, yeah, 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 Program director, I am not Prosper. I am Gordon Webster's brother, Henry. Prosper is my right hand man, Mr. Webster. <laughs> um, he asked me because he's on the program, and I said to the family last night, I don't want to change the program. Uh, because I may get too emotional to speak. And uh, so he kind of twisted my arm, and his arm broke after twisting me. 
But uh, nonetheless, we are privileged as a family, first of all, for the state to honor Ukuks uh, in this way. Ukotinwa in Kumbuzan Jalo, Etigmina Yashwashwat. And was Kulmizul Gar Yasuleg. Prosper remembers this often. We, we shared this together. And so uh, we want to say thank you to the Eastern Cape. We thank you from KZN. To the National Office. By a donkey. Uh, I, I know you still love your Bura friends. Uh, Websters don't love Buras, they hate the guts of the Buras. We hate them like hell. Uh, those who heard me speak on Wednesday, I'll try and just kind of be short because both of us had to say this. Uh, Thanks for the comrades that have come from all parts of the country. I have family that's here from different parts. Gordon's funeral has united our family once again in no small measure. Siabong. Thank you. Uh, MV, MVA, uh, the, those political prisoners, uh, the leadership of the chairperson of KZN, Babunduli uh, Siabonga Baba. To the uh, our premier Nomsa uh, Dube Nube, thank you, and all the MECs that are involved, and to the Eastern Cape uh, premier Oscar Maibuyane, and the MECs the. Uh, uh, municipal officers, mayors, councillors, the police, and most importantly, Abantu Bala. Thank you. And I want to say this as I close, and then there were two. I couldn't stand any more because Actually, there were 11 of us in the family. They, Billy had died eight months, so we kind of exclude him from that. There were two. And my brother is not too well. It's hard for the family to tell them that Gordon is gone. This is the motto Gordon had. And I know this is a quotation from a principal from a president from another country will I not mention. Ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Amen. That was the essence of Gordon. Never sat at the side of the road begging. If you look at that house they built, it was Gordon and his son Gary. Gary will come here. A young man who only now is 22 years. I will, we were talking to him. We had kind of a ramp going up upstairs. Uh, today, when, uh, when I came back three weeks later after we buried his mother, he had put steps there. Siabonga. Ukotini. Wafundi so oh Robert. Uh, oh Robert. Michel no Derek. No Greta. Agasa Kumbulu Greta put a gang funda nai. She was in my class, but today she's forgotten. Ukuke me na ang cooking ya cool and ya bonga. We live in a, a place of York, and I, I don't want to too, take too long. We lived in a place at York. 
that had four families. Only that part of York was multiracial. Uh, the Indian family got Carter, Guba Umnigas Restolo Umlungu, we waited. Singers got his Oban. Because, as Gordon, as you say, we were black. Umlungu, Wafi, Wawukona, Umlungu, Lungana, Ekaya, Ubaba. So when he went to the Isondra La Sewe Sele, the the, 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 uh, the white Methodist church, he could go there. His wife couldn't go there. Because why? Why would you go to my mother was good enough to clean Isonto, Yalababantu, Abelsu. That's why I don't like <laughs> Umlung. I hate their guts because they destroyed my family. And Gordon drew in that environment. Gordon grew in that environment and we would talk about it. Yeah, the whites would come. Umlung, um, my father goes to the church. But uh, he didn't want these Kafirs to go to ch his church. You talk about apartheid you had. Won't know apartheid la pemnyango. At work, we had apartheid in our own house. Ubaba wangas zoned. But the fire inside me, Robert, burns greater. And like this man, I express what Gordon's really lived. And because of that white people that destroyed our family, we grew together as not becoming politicians, but a political hotbed. I want to say to you, I salute you, my brother. And the family says, thank you. And I want you to know that what the white people did to our family runs deep in our blood, in our veins. That a white man, I cannot understand how we can go. Ain't not one Webster joining any white, full of white party. Because we know what life is for us. And this revolutionary is a part of the nursery that we had that was brewed in the belly of apartheid. That when we faced life, Tina Baga Webster, when we faced the white man, and I said on Wednesday, Sasiti, Hatu, Nana Manjing Yamzonda, Gobabula di Kayalam. I can forgive. I'll never forget. Program director, I'll be short. MKMVA. Members of the family, the MECs, the reverends, all the people around here, we thank you to be with us to come and bury God in. Brothers, We salute you all. Thank you so much.
Mantla. Uh, uh, would you prosper and the whole Webster family? At my age, I've never had such a history. First time ever. Ukuchi, kutu ngena wena mama la ikaya. Ngena mazuma uklinela. Esontwin. After that, go. Because when it is time to worship, we are not worthy to sit alongside us. Children today, their mothers go to work. And those domestic workers put them, their children on their back. Ikale, by chulise, by pugul. But when that child goes into power, that child says, when you are not worthy to be here next to me. This is a very painful history. You know, they are saying, we talk about apartheid, they talk about apartheid in the family, inside the house. Bantanabam, yes, Gary and your team is your space now, and I also salute two young men. Uh, young as you are, we have been able to guide us, navigate through the preparations. I even asked him, hey, Gary, how old are you when you could come? And young as is, come with your uh, siblings for the message that you have to give to your departed dad. We thank you, Mfanwam, we are a powerful young man at the age of 22. Omu Gary. Yeah, very powerful. Uh, what song would you like? Church song. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> children do not want to speak, but I will be reading their speeches, and as they stand next to me, we will be able to know uh, whose speech it is and what they are saying. Um, I will start with Gary. It's a speech by Gary, as well as for Brian, and Brian is at the back, and he's also very shy, and he's also very special to us. The life I have been gifted with by my amazing parents is so wonderful. The experience so beautiful that imagining them no longer a part of it was too cruel a world to live in. Yet it is because of the finality of death and the gaping hole that it leaves within one's heart that this rides in such a a very special and unique way that it is absolutely mind-blowing to know that in all of the time and in the vastness of space I've had the opportunity of experience. I can do nothing else but thank my parents from the bottom of my heart for their love and for their guidance. And in the end, all that matters is what we do with the one short chance that we get. How wonderful it is to have it. How amazing to have truly used it. My father, the remarkable man that he was, is most definitely the greatest example of how to live this thing we call life. 
He is the only being I have had the pleasure of knowing who walked with absolute determination and meaning. He always had somewhere to go, something to do and someone to talk to. In all honesty, I cannot recall one instant that my father had to offer up an excuse for a mistake. He would admit to it, but always managed to move on. If he was faced with a problem or situation, his mind was always ready working on a solution. Sometimes his mouth would precede him and he would talk a lot of things and sometimes I felt that I didn't understand the nonsensical things. But with time, he always had an extraordinarily good answer. He lived his life until the very last moment and managed to fill it with tremendous love, passing and meaning. Thank you, Dad. Uh, this is a message from Jenny, the eldest, Jennifer, to her dad. She says, Dad, so lost without you. Do take care of mom more than you did before. The words you spoke to us as children in the privacy of our home were not heard by the world, but in the whispering of the galleries. They were heard at the end and by posterity. Miss you forever and always your little princess. These are for Samantha. Samantha's one is left for last because it's quite a long speech and she's been very emotional and she just finds it not in her. She thought she would be able to speak but she finds it that it's very difficult for her. But. Um, We'd really like to go through her message. Daddy, no amount of words can begin to describe the way I feel about Ubaba. Kodwa angege nkulu mengawe wedwa, gizu kulu mangani, wena no mami. I have lost the biggest part, piece, I've lost the biggest piece of my heart. Daddy, when I know mommy, you are, the, you are our rock of our lives. So I can't say it. I don't know how to do it. I don't Especially with daddy. Even as a pillar, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to that's why I because I know now Bungege will survive in a Pandiguaco. Bengilutanda Utanduino. Ngegan gives the coffin is the Tembiso, Nezifiso, Nayonke in Dima, and Ila Lile, and Pilonizito. Siso Bambana, Sizinganizeno. Sikubege sikulise ikaya eni sakele lona. Gibonga amandla enu. Lilonge ngiti ayiko indo eni ngasenze langa yona. Nisakele ikaya elifutumele. Ngiabonga mina nisikulise gashe. Nilale ngotolo makawe etu. Lost but never forgotten. Um, 
Manja. Uh, while I'm making these remarks, uh, young lion, So, the Uzumsons are good before Gungene, Usi, Usi, Ustad, a province of Azunatan. But if there's a in Gomasa Bank Shale or the Bank Shale or Nuxu Misa, Ustalo, who come to heart. A Patua Manje, a Uno Tivia was a Kuluma in them slow good. A soge, eh? I was as large in life, which was Usali Polar Gasu Noti. Uh, he's one of the very key business people, by the way. Babu, was uh, a business is fair island, it's not a But you are a little quiet in the island, so what to pull out? No, no, not song. So I was forgetting Gomago Sugmi, say, Besha, Longo, my comet note, or Sugma goes and a pambi lose over the mass of what Lusa. I don't know if I am I yole from Tala, Evagolentile, was a Sambi Kaya. I Kaya, Vagolentile, was a Sambi Kaya. I Kaya, 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 Vagolentile, was a Sambi Kaya. City was a Sambi, Evagolentile, was a Sambi Kayawa. I yole from Tala, Evagolentile, was a Sambi. I woo Kaya Kayawa, was a Sambi Kayawa. Sasha Beko, the Prum Hof, Sapuma Beko, Mazim Dot, Bagus Pa, McBride, Esa Solfe, Spishy Muis, Esa Solfe, Spishy Muis, Eta, Eta, I was no Tambo Amanda, away to Amanda, away to I sit away to my bed, has turned away to my bed. A Gibonge and Patuasello, who comrade to Uswong Sain, who comrade to Swong Sain before Kubegenji, a Sasala, a Selineot. Same cell uh, and uh, uh, Sapuma the same day. Nang Lala impeding Gapoelala opposite. Sasu for that day, SRC, it was a Monday. Quafiga Amapu Nepsug, normally a man Genamapu Nepsugu, Sasu is strong with cushioning a strip search. Speech as long as in Tola Selin, um, Kabu, Lones, and Danger, about mine, and I have one. A Chelego, Bisong, a number. Two stroke eighty four, Kanjalo, Basbiz, a Basbiz, a Sasu four. A Mina, Sbongseni, Uchakwa, Ukombriti, Uchonen, Mabula, and was a Marispe, why in the life. A Selin and Kanguti, a Itine Sasi. We are amongst the longest 
uh, sentence prisoners because Uchon Mabula, Unen, Sasumbizu life, and why is the life sentence? Then Besseguba, Mina, Nangans twenty years, but twenty years, Bamba, three, and not ten years above four. So, and then Kuba Uchak, Uchaka ends at fifteen years, and then Besseguba Swung Senua ends at U ten years. A Gescate Kalal and Tuagia Punyatel, a Punja Sassi Relax, which would be amongst the last who would be considered for a release. Because what had happened, Magu Pum Angiti, a Robin Island, Gakona Macomrets, a Senamipia, a Macomrets, a Senamipia, as a Puma after independence, a Senamipia. So we also thought maybe go back and journal it. So the day is a bit so again. Just two eyes here, a reception. I saw a bunch of good. Of donor dog, he looks an eastu. Donor dog, he looks an eastu. I saw today a jalanga tomat. I saw a sign that he won't get. Saw ten ama apula he looks an azongi imbatla zet nengwati. Saw si ifage ma pogi sama apul. So, but in Hamden, Oka is in Doni later, a center office, Mubaka, Maupuma, or Sasha. So, I a Minano Chakwa, a Sasno Nova Sas studies, Sasuango for C studies, and so on. Got three X in Gizu Chakwati. Hey, a feel of Tongolo. How Ananele U life, Napa. At how I will let a gun now in Chakwa. Oh, and then you swung saying, Gale, at how I got now a life, I will let it. Now I'm going to fetch a git, eh, not me, I'm figured of two. So, so that was a swung saying, so we came quite a long way. So, um, yeah, so, um, as long again, firstly, go government, yeah, say. Yagua Sulunatal, Uguti, when the request was made, Uguti, a Lily Kawe, a Lily Pamguetu, a Linigas, a special government funeral, a Hulmenuetu, a Kwasul Natal, especially Ustalo, no Premier, Bawas Guti, a Stalulis, a C. Basamuge. Again, Sibonga, we government. Uh, with different, uh, uh, all amateurs of government of uh, Eastern Cape, Uguti, uh, Sigwas uh, today, Ikaole to Sigwas Guti, Sizol, Bega, Ngendela, Eslon Pegi, Epifitting, Kulon. Another special person, Engfi Suguti, Engi, 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 Kulum, Engai, Ukomrei, Utes. If friendship got this, who this is from Matatin, Le in Newcastle. If friendship got this, no God was strengthened. Kakud Babi Sali Lokuzana, a section, a HL, Tinas Nosbong Sensor Sechi, Sagnama sections at Lube, Babi Sali. And that friendship has carried on with Utuso Usimizu Zero Tin, Utuso. Uh, and so all uh, that that friendship and that bond uh, has uh, and the late to God, uh, so we just buried him uh, a few months ago. Uh, that friendship uh, it was solidified and remained as solid as nothing that you can ever think of from that time up to the days where 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 where, where we are. So um, I. I I, I didn't think Udes would be able to finish the obituary. I, I was doubting that he would be able to finish it. Uh, I think it was a great courage. Thank you, Comrade Des, uh, for, for, uh, for that. Guna uh, Makomrets, again, Jango Bangimela, and on behalf of Amakomrets, a Amaes Suana Bugu MK Nanka Tele La Pia, Ushaga as a comrade to Spong Semi Esebegile. He came, he said, Mapoloba, I need to come here. 
We do everything all the way from in John in Shabil in Job what in Gifun good in Giba Konala. We may we have to make it possible good in figure. I cannot nomiganjan because this is one of our greatest soldiers of Ilokozana EMK that we need to give a corner to honor him on his last day. And then I've got Amayama comrades, the Lapana Bom Shengu, Abo Kai Malamba, Abo Bafo, Ovus Mashobo, Unganon, Olapaya, Soba Mfundis, a despite which he was seventy eight Maya Bosch. Why Quagnep, Quagnepo is Salapelase, Lalcateli, MK, Lassel Shinja, Lassevenzela Mapun. He used to a business of a state witness all over. Um, we magwa ma try a lama comrade, and then a uh, no no at you at to bull a chemi macaroff, but what don't say oka, but suga yang oka. And then he got 25 years for that. So, <laughs> so, um, so there's quite a lot of his in Tonjarati with Kazuguti. Abo Comrade McBride, it was one of the daring uh, missions when they went. Nabo Comrade Ukreta, La Panabe Okipa, Comrade Uwefsa, Esbedel. My girlfriend then was a nurse. La Panabe Okipa, 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 La uh, unfortunately, with all that history uh, um, and with the humbleness of our comrades that they are, and then uh, so, yeah, uh, I hope the e e government e too will do something because some of them, Ilona, um, when we be 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 shown. Um, you cannot believe what ba ba pilel impilo enzi maganje. I was relating to one of our comrades one day. Who life language is akuluma sa 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 puma na e uchonne. Uchonne between 1963 and uh, 1991. Uh, he only spent mostanga nisis katas lala. Outside of prison was only four months. Uklanganis. 1963, what ten years? Wapuma, Waba, Wakubega, Nuba involved in the underground ANC, Waboshwa, Ongoboya, we pending order, Waboshwa, another 18 months. My Puma, a Puma Lapo, he was involved with Abo Kumre, two Harry Kuala, and Abo Truman Makobane. Baboshwa, that's when he was sentenced to a life imprisonment. So when you total up the amount of time that he had spent from 1963 up to 1991, it was a total of only four months. Unfortunately, uh, he's, he died in a shack. That was how bitter, uh, how problematic sometimes life is. But in uh, Jango Basila, to honor um, one of the things Enzo Fis with the people about we government here too is that Bahambila uh, Bazali being on. Please, uh, I know the legislation, the constitutional framework as South Africa is very problematic, but Please, lazy uh, ngane lazy. When all of us are gone, zo selezi zoto. Just make sure that uh, there is some kind of support. Ugu tizwa zuti kubege zipile ingane lazy. 
on a lighter note, um, uh, comrade, several columnists in day Ninga, La Pana HL, good name, comrade, to a Uchero Mark, a while was selling poem. My figure, Jerome, was coming for the second time. Uh, and then Ucherom used to be able to knit, Ugnita. Uh, he became one of the best knitters. Abonugnita matches. He became one of the best knit Ababekwas good by the Wam Tola La Panet was I think it was part of the way he was a way a kipanga uh distress as a bis good uh moun u stress it would live a drong. In the lay I I keep an out you are drong. So but going forward. Uh, when you look at Ama ages eight when we got involved, we were young people in eighteen Kunom Dula, I think Shami must have been sixteen, seventeen at the time. Um, um, so we were very young, very, very young. Um, got, we're on our way here, got a specific here. What gave these Comrades, it is been to go and do that because I'm a puna, I'm a dad. I do, I'm a puna, I'm a puno, I shy to go and undertake that uh, daring mission. We say, you know, um, uh, sometimes when you have to undertake such missions, you don't have to try and rationalize, you must just go and do it and see whether you succeed or not. That, that, that was some of the spirit that some of these uh, comrades had. That, I mean, Amapun were the strongest army in Lokuzana in Africa, but some of these comrades would actually take those daring missions with all the risks. The risk because not only that, even back Lhasa Sugakona, Amapunu had they had my agents. Uh, that's why when Gordon came back to try and undertake the rescue of to do payback Abo McBride, my, when he, he landed here, Amapuno already because there was also a problem uh, at the back. But with all those risks in place, uh, at those uh, in, in those ages, uh, my comrades were able to take. A Laoma risk level and successfully and unsuccess unsuccessfully sometimes, but that again helped Uglokozana, Upusha, Ulokozana, Umzabalas. The challenge today is that that phase of a struggle uh, uh, we, we manage what is seen. We now are facing an even bigger struggle. Uh, comrade, especially Nina, any go 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 We are facing the biggest struggle of e economic uh, struggle. Whether you can go to a DA run Cape Town or go to a ANC run, whatever. Um, uh, when you go to Kwamashu, no Muye Langa, no Muye Kailisha, no Ma Uye Smoking, those apartheid special arrangements, they still remain the same. Townships are still the uh, centers of poverty and unemployment. That's what we need to, to address now. And it can only be addressed when you begin to attend to the problem, there's a problem with the constitution as a South Africa. There's a problem with the legislative framework as a South Africa. We need to say these things because uh, those PFMAs and those, those things are making it difficult uh, for some of the things that we wish sometimes as government to implement. If we don't attend to those things, my comrades, uh, they will continue to do it, but we need to address the legal and constitutional framework because those are the things that make it 
when even if you want to go to a kumkwa kola, you find the Guti legislative framework doesn't allow you to do it. Um, those are the, the challenges. Uh, we can sit and discuss Lesos and Oleso, uh, but because that's the challenge now. Uh, we are now being told 20, 30 years later, we are unable to do it. It's not. It's because we need to relook at the one constitutional framework as South Africa, two legislative framework as South Africa, because that is where the problem is. As much as you would like a comrade uh, uh, economic uh, MEC to do certain things, you'll find yourself that uh, sector you, you have a what what in audit query, what what what, and so on, because that is, that is where the problem is. Um, and that is a challenge. And we hope especially the young people will then now, like that generation of 76, that generation of ours, to take things in their own hands, uh, because that is where we need to go. The baton is with you. Some of us will be dead within the next 10 years, and then, but we, uh, all those efforts, Zala comrades, Lao, would have been in vain if we don't challenge the situation, the economic situation of inequality, of unemployment, and uh, 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 issues that are facing, especially the young. No country can go forward with a 70% youth unemployment. No, no country. So there, those are some of the things that we need as urgently as possible. Uh, my, 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 my comrades, that Nina and a great government, and you've been given a responsibility to be in government, that you need to, to, uh, uh, to, <coughs> to, uh, uh, to attend to. Saying, uh, Vaila, again, we really wish to express our appreciation to the Webster family, to giving us Leli Kaweleli, uh, to go with him, uh, to do all the things that we had to do. Uh, and uh, uh, I think, I mean, having survived shot, being shot five times, uh, I think this time, I think Mr. Sekfige Iskati, La Unkulunkule, Esete, Segu Iskati, Sengi Agbiza Manje. Gwe Femeli, Yaga Webster, Siti, Agushanga, Gwenge Tanga. Uh, see, we hope you'll be strong, and then uh, thank you, Pro Pro Program Director, Dr. Klala Pants. Nje, Mkangwazu, Ulokuza, Nukula Comrade, Tisbongsen. Kunengo, Meyoto, Nje, Engzo Klala Ngayo Pants. Ngale, Siaskati, S. Puma, Siyanga Pantle, Sasit, Masese, Sis, Chela, Makunu, Siti, so we are going to call him by and by. Sassiti, Gamtas, Buya, Gamtas, Buya, Go Kalumbay, Go Kalumbay, Island, Gutting it to Lise. This is stone, Sasseropin Island, Lise, as part of the honor of the Comrade Webster for the time that he spent with us in Robben Island. Thank you. Amanda, in the room, they are in the wrong space because I had prepared myself. If I say we audience, I will have to jump them. I will definitely have to because they need to be on the stage. Clear. Sibaku! 
Kulule.
And the Ilerumo last Chaba took me back to the forest of Angola. I just saw tears going, coming down. Uh, what they were doing here, we used to do it in our camps. And uh, at that time, it was not fashionable to be a member of Mkondo Isizwe. It was not fashionable to be a member of the African National Congress. Mm -hmm. When we came to those camps, we would always be told that now you cease to be yourself. Now you are the servant of the people. Indo Ebega Yicholana Ukomrit Notting Obo is exactly as it is. That when we are deployed to these places, it is not about us. Program director, members of the bereaved Wester and in Chigua families, all MECs present here, leaders of the alliance, leaders of this community, <coughs> commanders and commissars of Umkonto Isizwe, and all protocol observed. Allow me, Program Director, to start with this quote from Bhagavad Gita from India. I quote, the ignorant work for their own profit. The wise work for the welfare of the world. Without thought for themselves. Without thought for themselves. This is the comrade lying here who we have come to say farewell be comrade Gordon Webster, comrade Mkise. All what he did. It was not for gain, but for him it was a noble cause to liberate the people of South Africa. And many have said here, most of them are very much unassuming, and that was Comrade Gordon Webster. I stand in front of you today representing the advanced detachment of the ANC under the banner of a unified um Kondo Isizwe Liberation War Veterans, a legitimate structure representing all ex-MK combatants. It is an honor for me to stand here and pay homage to this humble servant of the people, 
I want to underline this humble servant of the people. I know the Webster family is grieving for the last of this finest son of the soil. But again, allow me also to say it is befitting to celebrate the life of this unsung hero. Comrade Webster leaves us when we are observing the Women's Month. In our country, under a dark cloud of women and children being murdered and raped left, right, and center by us, men folk. I'm raising this sketch that has befallen our country because we understand, we were thought that revolutionaries are loving people. We have proven it. All the speakers have said how Comrade Webster was so close to his wife. Revolutionaries are loving comrades and friends. We do not understand what has befallen our country. That women now need to have bodyguards wherever they are. Children need to be escorted to school because they are going to be kidnapped. And I want to repeat, comrades, revolutionaries are loving people. The opposite has happened here, comrade, with comrade Gordon. He is following his comrade in arms, comrade N, to their last resting place after an illustrious journey. And I stand here without any fear of contradiction to pronounce that Comrade Gordon was one of the finest, humbled, and disciplined cadres of NK. And I wonder again that we need to underline disciplined cadres of Umkondo Esizwe. Comrade stood here and there was laughter. Comrade Notius told us about the comrade because he was sentenced to life. His name became life. These are the teachings that we were taught, comrades. And we could not have understood those teachings without this revolutionary greeting that we're talking about. That is why some of these difficult areas that we've gone through at some point became sort of jokes for us. Today I'm known in MK as the Buffalo Soldier because as I was crossing the Zambezi River, I was attacked by a buffalo, but I survived. And I became buffalo soldier today. And I'm accepting that with pride, because it was not for me, but the people of South Africa. Discipline, comrade, comrade Godin wouldn't have gone through all what he's gone through without the discipline that was embedded in us by the African National Congress. And I always say that it was not because of his courage. It was not because of Comrade Gazi's courage that he went to the hospital to rescue him. It was because of the revolutionary discipline that was embedded in us by the African National Congress. Without discipline, we are nothing. What the comrades were trying to say here to those who are deployed in government to look after us, without this revolutionary discipline, what Comrade Noti was talking about here in terms of our legislation, in terms of our constitution, it will be difficult for them to interpret what do we mean when we talk of a caring government. When people are in a queue, you busy with your phone as a civil servant, they have to wait for you until you finish the message that you're going through from your WhatsApp. I was talking here with comrades. I came here with comrade Des, uh, comrade Zero. And they were saying, comrade Zero said, we made a mistake as an organization to say that we can't employ politically connected people as civil servants. And I was saying to another comrade this morning, our problem is that 
we go about talking about this great constitution that we have, at the end of the day, what is it that it is doing for our people? Why every day our people are toy toying for service delivery? Because you've got people who don't have the greater understanding of this political question that we need to address because they've been employed there as pure civil servants. They won't understand what you mean when you talk of a caring government at all. We are not saying employ people because they are connected to leaders of the ANC. We say employ people who would understand. When you talk of service delivery, what is it that you're talking about? And I want to repeat here, the Winima Tigizela Mandela municipality, they've got their work cut out. When we all leave and go back to our places, will they manage to continue with their schooling? Will they have something to eat? And we're saying not because because they deserve the best. The father laid his life for the good of this country. It was that discipline that I'm talking about. Comrade Kazi wouldn't have done it if it was not that discipline that was inculcated in us by Oliver Tambo, Chris Ani, Solomon Mashango, even Solomon Mashango himself. At that age when he faced the gallows, it was because he had the revolutionary spirit. It was because he understood when he was told that he's the servant of the people, that is exactly what he wanted to do. At that age, most of us, not that we are adventurers, we are not, because we understood what we were taught. We understood the politics of the ANC. We understood that the people of South Africa are looking upon ourselves for them to get this liberation that they have today. It was nothing else but our discipline. Comrade Wester leaves us at a time when we're faced with nurturing the unity of all MK combatants. And we believe in his honor, MK will emerge united, disciplined, and leading in the forefront in renewing our movement. That's the resolution we took in East London, that we not only renew MK, but we all renew the African National Congress. Our commissariat already is working with the Oliver Tambo School of Leadership to go back to the branches so that our branches should not only have in their agenda the discussion about tenders, but to also have political education. What is it that is expected of us as members of Umkonto Wesizwe? People should not go to branch meetings only to check if my name is in the list because we are going for a conference, not at all. What are we doing as MK Liberation War veterans to emulate Comrade Godin? We took a decision in East London to strengthen the efforts in renewing, uniting, and addressing the welfare of ex-MK combatants. I don't have to repeat this, comrades. It was said here, comrade life went to jail more than two times, possibly three times. He died living in a shack. It's not only about South Africa. It happens in any country. When ex-combatants come back, they are looked after by government. They are not asking for any favors. I know some other people would say, you ran away, went into exile. And I always say, those are the people who don't understand what is a revolution. What is it to arrange a people's war? Things that happened in our country, the birth of the mass democratic movement, the ungovernability 
of the country at that time didn't just grow from the ground. Those old men, the Oliver Tambas on them, worked on this. <laughs> he suffered a stroke because he worked day and night for the liberation of this country, not for gain. And we know when he came back, he was not even the president of the ANC, he became the chairperson of the ANC. And he gave over to those who were able. That's the part of a cadre that we are looking for. A cadre who's not thinking about only himself. A cadre who becomes a servant of the South African people. This is what Comrade Godin proved to us. Unsung as he was with all what he had done. Here he is today, a revolutionary who loved up until his last days. I'm going to conclude, Sitalo. Uh, we we'll do all the above by instilling discipline to all members of the ANC, MK, and the entire alliance. Again, comrades, in emulating Comrade Gordon, we therefore call upon those involved in taking the organization to court against decision taken by the highest leadership structure of the ANC to desist from such actions. Because people want to be in the leadership positions. In those days, when you are given a position to lead, sometimes you cry and ask, what is it that they are doing to me? What have I done? Because you knew the task ahead. Today, we're killing each other for positions in this glorious movement. We call upon all disciplined members of the ANC to work with us in finding lasting solutions to the challenges facing our glorious movement. We call upon all commanders and commissars of our glorious army, Um Konto Esizwe, to stand up and defend our beloved movement from the onslaught from within and outside. Reactionary forces are ganging up to make sure the ANC is toppled from power so as to change the gains of our revolution. But in true Godin's word, I quote, time has come and gone, but one thing for sure, history never changes, unquote. Despite all what Comrade Godin has gone through, one thing for sure, he has never forsaken the ANC, his beloved movement. I mean, we've said here, comrades, he had five bullets. You went to hospital. Kazi here rescued him. He had to go to, 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 to Botswana, from Botswana to Lusaka. He could have said, I'm safe. I don't want to go back and face the enemy. But he came back and he was given 25 years. He came back because he was dedicated. He came back because he understood that the people of South Africa are looking upon the ANC. Can we today call our glorious movement the leader of society? With all what is happening, comrades, and who can change that? Nobody else, me and you. We just have to re dedicate ourselves to the cause. Even after being injured, rescued and smuggled out of the, of the country, where he was at liberty to remain, he chose to come back and continue the struggle by recruiting unit members, training them, planning and carrying out daring operations. For that, he was sent to Robben Island for 25 years. We dare not fail, Comrade Gordon. This child never expected anything in return for his considerable sacrifice. Comrades, listen to this. This is said by his close comrade, Comrade Kazi, Robert McBride, talking about his commander, his friend. I quote, as our commander, he taught us everything. 
we knew. He was completely selfless, and from the very beginning, he never expected any acclaim, nor did he ever ask for anything in return. Close quote. In closing, whilst we are busy fighting for tenders in our municipalities, here's a man who was prepared to sacrifice his life for the good of mankind. And you kept your faith. Amanda! Siabonga Kul Gustalo to MK War Liberation Veterans. Yeah, part of leadership here too. Comrades, if there's anything that we need to pick up from the speakers who have come in here, that is my take home message, does it? Hey, there are South Africans who are prepared to forego their lives for the sake of others. Haibu! someone to forego his privileges. No, let me forego this for the benefit of the rest of the society. This is the man. Now, I wanted to tell about Comrade, comrade Noti, uh, all these good stories, they don't talk about it from what pants. I was a super boss. You know, I mean, for writing a book, I am much better than those. I don't have those tears. It's healing to put the paper on the things that you suffered from. I'm a Pono in Robben Island. When you tell them, no, you come along me, who's born senor at home? I prefer to call you with your number. You are 25 stock 87. You are a prisoner number 25 who came in 1987. You feel humiliated. And you say, God, how long am I going to stay in this type of life? But for the sake of my people, I'm ready to suffer and have suffer that humiliation. Now, those are things coming that could heal you. Write them down and you get going with it. Was now I I talk about this as like a joke. I don't really have any pain about it anymore. So comrades, there are a lot of you who have a lot to reach. There was going to be only one Nelson Mandela. We wrote, he wrote a book and we read it. But many of you have different stories to tell to enrich our society. And I plead with you. I was some who come to Island is doing this, but we don't see that coming back to us to feel it. This is Robin Island. We tell you stories. Let's get those back to us and actually enrich our families and therefore get going over. Now I'm interviewing not God, I hope so. And why, what is the story Scott Gordon is our interviewer Apollo. So things get done, but we never see them coming back to us to enrich and have political education. In the room, I have been listening to for their song. While based on Pambi, I have been calling my son, I have been calling my son, I have been announcements, I have been our brand new chairperson of the province, Baba Udu, I have been uh, South Coast. You South Coast is in Angel and Yabona. It's a support and a cool. Babduma, comrades who have spoken before you are saying we're not desperate to, to get into the space of leadership. We are a resource to support you. Go lead, but tap on our experiences. I mean, some of us who are in the 60s are not really, we can't run and do what we did when we were. In 1985, when we were 24 years old, we are far from that, but we, have, we are a resource that is available to tap on going forward. We, we now, we don't have abundance in Mandela, they are gone. But some of the things that we learned from them, so let's share a and you lead our country to a better space. who we thank you once more for really uh, government to have a government to have a government to have a government to we will be singing the announcements, but part of this announcement is this is a song, Ella. But so she and I will call and go. But in the house, you be a call coming. God in is just enough for a befundisi, na ma ne leadership ye chaplaincy, ne family. We can't do more than that. So abanye be tu so she la la. Mes funu ge obon tu begwe pu coming God so be si ega move. But in the in the we call in so, Jelalana, Bessas told to get some Bessing Alice. So, 
those announcements, but when it comes to Babu Salawetu, because in consequence of the way we process the police, I will have to go to the, the marshalling officer to come in and really do what is necessary. Because so Puma still lead to an end there. Because in consequence of my social media, if you get late, go home. Uba ma flag pelas <laughs> lana kumane kwa pelwa inda ngo ba ne flag elkulu la manje le yen beso ezekse na isen zega ngake ngolege ozani ke nsuku misu shalo ingo main billion not more than that. Ata shiro, ata shiro, ata shiro, hey is tulu la la la, tulu la la la, la 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 command, command figure. Command to prove you. Tell the good man, my command. Tell the good man, my command. Tell the good man, what my command? What my command? Yeah, yeah, long come. Not tolerance, hey, good ladies. Not tolerance, hey, good ladies. Ah, come. Ah, come. Not tolerance, hey, good ladies. Oh, Kalim Koka, oh, Kalum Shin, oh, Kalim Koka, oh, Kalum Shin, oh, Lekrin Koka, oh, Tugi, oh, Lekrin Koka, oh, Tugi, oh, they touch me by the left angle, oh, they touch me by the left angle, oh, Lekrin Koka, oh, Lekrin Koka, oh, oh, some court, oh, school, oh, oh, some court, oh, school, oh, a social attack, oh, oh, I discipline, oh, oh. I deceive us. I moral him up. I tell you, I'm going to make him. I end the scene. I'm going. Let you know, no shell of a lie. I'm going to say, "Go, yeah, go, let me." Oh, some kind of school. Oh, some kind of school. You should be part of the group tonight. We are coming. Oh, come on, shit.
We are racing against time. Program director, thank you so much. Let's start with you, Mkabela. It is an honor and a privilege that you are today affording us this opportunity. I thought you were going to say that you have groomed us, that we are a product, so that Comrade will accept us in the process. The program director is one of those, the former guerrilla, if you want to understand more about humility, it is very found within him. And he has served this movement very well and is able to embrace the spirit of humility and revolutionary spirit. He worked well with Comrade Webster's of our world, Comrade Mota as well, because we tend to have the spirit of forgiving, but when we have to work and embrace the guerrillas, we don't take them seriously. Our program director have already mentioned the children and the grandchildren of Gordon, of Comrade Webster, the Webster and the Zuma families. Thank you. <laughs> MEC present. <laughs> MPL from Port Kwazulu Natal in Eastern Cape. Executive Mayor, I've already been told, who's here. Sub Chaplain, who's here in our midst. The DG or the DDG, Umbo, for members of Umkonto Oasis, ex political prisoner, prisoners, leaders of various political formations, compatriots, and fellow mourners. Greetings. I'm no longer going to be that long because of time. But it is critical to highlight that almost all the comrades who stood before us are our senior comrades. We grew up worshiping this comrade, Comrade Poloba, the speaker of Uku municipality, has been with this family. He knows he was laughing when Comrade Robert was called Makuzba. We used to address him like that when we grew up in the era of Umtualum. I think from Ukome to Polo about note, Ukome Dinango is correct before we could zoom into the details of what has been written down about the webs our Webster. Ukome to Polo, we were told of his story that at some point in time, we were the entire Midlands, Upitabli Pote Kola Pemarus Begwanga was address. And such stories must be told in this lifetime. Because Comrade Dinangwe, it's true that we've been elected, but the elected leadership is the lowest form of leadership. Serious leadership is the servanthood leadership. What you stood for and what you did is what we will always understood as leadership. As for us, we are just aspirant revolutionaries. We are not former characters of Umkont. We are young. That's the reality. We are just former leaders of the ANC Youth League. It means that we were born in the mid-70s. So the trust and the principle of this revolution will be asked upon your shoulders because Tina will want just to just take your shade or Continue to mold us. For gracing our shores and highlighting what he highlighted. Honorable Chaperson, this afternoon we have come to the heart of Mbondoland in the land of King Fago to return to the soul the mortal remains of a distinguished freedom fighter and a good human being, Comrade Gordon Webster. While we are devastated, we know that we've been Pizana, currently known as Winima Tigizela Municipality, we have to let history rhyme with hope because it is in this art of our land where the umbilical cords of other great stalwarts of the South African Revolution were cut. Here in the home of historic Pondoland Revolt, we have the homes of ANC President. It has been already mentioned, o President Oliver Tambo, the mother of the nation. Mayor Winima Tigizela Mandela, 
the footprints of the Khoi and the Sen are not only to be traced in their present day living descendants. They are also found in the world renowned rock art painting in surrounding caves and mountains. Rabbi Emisin Kopan already told us what this used to be in the historical past. They have defied time and immortality to tell the stories of the Eland and the hunters gathers. They have prevailed centuries of attacks on our culture, heritage, and identity to stop only remind us that our history as a people predate 1652. Our history didn't start in 1652. Before 1652, we had God. Before 1652 of oppression, we were already in this country and we had hegemon. Our history will never be defined by the Peter Rupotas, Jan van Ripik of this country. Till today, they whisper to those paying attention that ours is a store of hope and triumph against the violence and dehumanization that came with slavery, the Cape, colonialism, and apartheid. Claiming both KZN and Eastern Cape as his home, Comrade Gordon Webster's momentous life is a living tributal, telling us that when all is said and done, we are South Africans rooted in the nourishing and resilient African soil. While history must rhyme with hope, it is still with heavy hearts that we today have to bid farewell to an outstanding patriot and revolutionary, Comrade Gordon Webster. It is a double blow for the family, as we did mention in the memorial service, that the children, indeed, our country today will release this quiet revolutionary to his beloved wife, who transitioned to the land of our ancestors in the fatal accident, Natal, that robbed our nation of the Convention's parents and comrades in arms just two weeks ago. Heart-wrenching as it is, we must release this child of our soil to the care of these departed parents. Our mother, Umazu Mugamalal, and our father, Ubabu Ati Gordon, Hambagash Mkonto says, you have fought a good race like Timothy and Paul said in the Bible. You have completed your journey. Beyond the grave, a warm embrace from our heroes wait. Among them, our father, Derek Mybrad, Ibrahim Ibrahim, Comrade Begin Gubane, Comrade Endus Busisazond, Comrade Gerald Hawkers, Comrade Poshia Pilandwandwe, and many, many more. Please tell them that surviving members to the Platafly unit, the pride of our armed struggle will not let your sacrifice go in vain. Even today, the program director comes from that unit and is doing a sterling job as the deputy minister of our Hest. He still remembers that the guerrillas of this movement are still alive and should be taken care of. In your own combat webs, I will leave no stone unturned to realize the vision of ANC and National Democratic Society. As you did, we shall marshal all our people behind the noble vision of a united, non-racial, non-sexist, equal and prosperous society. We also had program director the story of his beloved brothers, how they were groomed up, how they were raised. We are even aware and mindful that how gruesome was the apartheid regime. Nevertheless, we still have to forget what happened, although we are not going to elusively forget everything, but we must be able to forgive those who were gruesome to us. On behalf of the provincial government and to the people of KwaZulu Natal, we convey our deepest sympathies to the family, friends, and relatives. Sishawenge Kwantalo in the province of KwaZulu Natal. Kodo ngeka sabuza ke mkabele ukuthi umchingi ubethwa ngobani, lihambile iqhawulethu kodwa ukhongo lo siyaqhubeka kuyaphila. Duduzekani lale ngenxa yabamdeni nezihlobo, akwehlanga lungihle, uma kunjena siphakamisela amehlo ethu ku Jehova Uncle Umkali no mpelis wa korole, tilia shogi izu, uguti, ushala se tuza nin izio zabata bgileyo. Siam tem buzo abo pa mangle bagle femili, efele wa pupu babo ay wa pende wa pupa no mwako na gaskatis nan. Gary, please received our heartfelt sympathies on losing your mother and father in such a tragic manner. I did mention mkabela ngoba bonga ugwa sui lul salen klungu sa shogi femili uguti. Nam go 2009 in one day in the accident. You don't know what to do at that particular time. 
I'm sure the members at this point in time, there is nothing a tangible soil letter born. By us born, and she go to a Umabenga Bangabella, which a hover, no timber, Ugutuma Spala, no ANC, Uyo Kubega Basset to Zenab, Bazos born is that of Kubega Pambin and Pilt. We hope that fond memories you have of our beloved parents will spare you unending sorrow. A good man like your father would want to see you overcome the setback and be in charge of your lives and destiny again. Fellow mourners, since the passing away of Comrade Webster, we have felt the outpouring of love from many quarters and from those who knew him intimately. From all the tributes we have had, including today, it is clear that amongst us lived a man filled only with the unrelenting spirit of love for humankind. It was very epitome of love, and Shabilu Slalu Komet Hotome mentioned the issue of love because true revolutionaries are guided by the spirit of love. It is what encompasses the human beings. But these days, we found even amongst our ranks, comrades hate each other openly. In some instances, they are willing even to remove Abanye Uguzimpilobanga Besabanayo. Comrade Kuvara, the dictum that the true revolutionary is guided by a great feeling of love. It is impossible to think of a genuine revolutionary lacking this quality. Therefore, you can't even define yourself as a revolutionary if you don't possess this critical element. In his youth, this good man was driven by deep love for the poor and the oppressed. It explains why he chose to change his society by choosing the murder of all the vocations, teaching. Teaching remains a noble calling for the selfless among us who wish to transform society by impacting the youth. If we had time, program director Mkabela, we're going to expatiate as to why Africans at their core have lost their identity. And the type of a curriculum that is offered in our school is only able to produce glorified slave. But they are no longer revolutionarily conscious in driving the society. It was Africa's militant and courageous youth that was the first to positively respond to Artambo's call of rendering South Africa ungovernable on the 8th of January 1985 resulting in both are declaring a state of emergence. Having grown up in a family that taught him to value solidarity, Ubuntu and human dignity, Comrade Webster grew up knowing that every port was some port and that apartheid was evil and against the wishes of God. It is here in this Eastern Cape that we learn of moving and inspiring stories of the colored community which embraces important and closer traditions, including the ancient tradition of Ukwaluka in this area and associated rituals. This Xhosa is a language spoken which might ease by different communities. We are tied to upper classes, really. So the work see like are Like a number of outstanding activities in the colored of Indian community, colored communities, Comrade Webster would not allow himself to be hoodwinked by the sham and facade of Peter Porter's tricameral parliament in the 80s. While others embraced it, he collaborated with the collaborated with the NM, Comrade Webster realized that this was another ploy by the evil apartheid regime to drive a wedge between the oppressed. It was clearly for the young Comrade Webster this was another divide and rule strategy that had to be resisted. Those who have written about him attest that Porter's tricameral tri parliament must have been one of the important motivation for him to take to the decision to pick up arms and fight for the liberation of our country. Comrade Webster fully embraced his black experience and the alienation of his people in the land of their birth. In a colonized country that grounded and premised everything on race, he saw himself very much like our father, Comrade Walter Sulu Kamela, who was born and bred in this era of Etengobo, and a white man assisted. In conclusion, Honorable Chairperson, we want to mention that it is critical that each time when you remember Comrade Webster, we must think about I'm a black, I'm an African, I'm a subject to all the laws that affect my people. I never wanted to see my skin color determine my race. I was an African in every sense of the word, no less, no more. 
It is like this definition affirmation of our being which finds resonate in the poetic vision of NTP plan which was articulated by President Mbeki. Siafisa ke ukubonga mkabe ali tube silpiwe. Sifuwe na uonga makaba lianga pambi luguti as long as the system is not defeated, we will continue to fight. The system is saying that we will not be able to contest against the scarcity of resources in the land of plenty. Our mineral resources on a day-to-day -day basis are deposited into somewhere in the world where we have to pay hefty the price. The foil hugs is known these days. Almost every little detail in our country is not produced by us. We are just the biggest consumer. Probably now is the time that we must not take up arms, but we must do a paradigm shift of taking the hegemony of this country called South Africa. What a humility in this leadership. I guess I'm sure in Zanzibar, I'm going to go into here. There are specific things he raised. And the humility and the readiness. First things first, family members, some of you who have got your cars parked in the yard, to allow the hairs to go home. So I suspect those may be family cars as a way inside the yard. It's very difficult for a hairs as a sugala, some of the cars that are parked there. There's a first announcement in LTC Lungisa. Again, to repeat, all of us will be assisted by Oguyang uh, Twinjini. We will now be thanking all of you. I realize someone of my love, Kona Babesteps are no Webster, an office in La Palega Laga Hulmen. Maybe Kona Treba Paramena Parati, his last piece of work. Who's the main up for me? Pension got caught in Niba Bonne Wenganza. Wicked. Eh, so Babalanga Masuku Bonkelaba, Babe Sebenza no caught in Niba Bugusuen, who's the Ipumi Pension Goba. Who caught in is no more. A pension Rababuenu is a joy in a name I suppass, Malgababuen. Eh, he called Nayon and I'm Fundisla and Kalam Fundis. Why Sebenza and I bet my lunch in Obab. Make a good penalty three months. Please, eh? uh, I now am given the privilege of shooting Buze, who marshalling officer, to tell us the seven son of chaplain what's going to happen from now going forward. Song is Bambum Teto, Gangela Yasema Soshin, Gangela Yasema Poison, Utke, Umtim Hambaranja, Mosafun Utke, Ushain Jam, Pelilis Cat. Ushalaja Panza Bobsebis keep it, let us keep an eye on the Tolasi Tolayo. Repeat, there is no enough space, a kaya is mainly for family, a befundisi, the leadership, because Kunendo, a Konalogi program where U. Comrade Utuma will going to hand over the national flag to the family. That will be done in the cemetery. Uh, Marshalling officer, you take over now. Minaga Seng Pelisengulandi Plate Lam Logut.